Okay, in this video to cover the idea behind maximum log likelihood estimation and maximum likelihood estimation. So let me begin with uh, example so I'm very clear about this. Imagine that you have a population of plants and you want to estimate the mean and the variance in the heights of these plants and you have some idea that uh, the distribution of the ants might be a Gaussian distribution. So the distribution of heights is Gaussian. So when you have a situation like this and you're not able to measure the height of every member of the population but only a sample of the population, that's when you want to use the idea of maximum likelihood estimation. What you will do with the maximum likelihood estimation is estimate the parameters like mean and variance, the population from the sample alone. So now that we have defined when you want to use maximum likelihood, let me also make sure, uh, mention that it doesn't just apply to Gaussian distribution alone, it can apply to many kinds of distributions. And it may not be always applicable, but it's applicable in many situations. So now that we have defined this, uh, let's actually talk about how we are doing this. So let's say that we have our plant population and we are measuring these heights and they're identical and independent observations, tip, which uh, we usually write as IID variables. So usually we write our IID variables as x1, x2, all the way to xn. And they come from some distribution of an unknown density. So here we're going to write it as f0 dot and we think that this distribution comes from a certain parametric uh, model, like if we take the Gaussian distribution, our parameters might be mu and sigma square, the mean and the variance. So when we're going to write it as coming from a certain family of distributions with some parameter theta or some set of parameters, we write it as f dot given this theta and this theta is an element of the parameters of that distribution. So this is what we call a parametric model. So now we can write f0 dot is equal to f given this parameters theta for that particular district. So the zero represents basically that we're talking about a specific um, case of that distribution or we call it the true value of the parameter, theta zero. And now we want to estimate this theta zero, so the true values using estimators. So we, we call the, est we did estimators by a little hat. So theta z uh, hat is the estimator of this theta zero, which is the true value. So these theta hats can include things like mu hat, which is the estimator of the mean or sigma squared hat, which is the estimator of the variance. So now that uh, you understand this, let me go ahead and clean this up here. So let's um, talk about a joint density function for all of the observations, x1 through xn. So we can write
something like f of x1 comma x2 all the way through xn given these param parameters of the model theta and if we're looking at let's say uh, iid random variables then the joint density we can separate it as f of x1 given theta times f of x2 given theta all the way to f of xn given theta and this is because these are independent variables so now that uh, we can separate these like this we can work with this expression much more freely and what we're going to do is define the likelihood function now so the likelihood function reverses these and is how likely is a given theta if you know all these x's so these x1 through xn are observations of your sample and you want to compute the likelihood of the theta so you have x1 through xn and this likelihood function is defined to be exactly this function above here which we wrote all the way through xn given theta so the likelihood of theta is the density of x1 through xn given theta which is as we just the product over all the i's from 1 through n of f of xi given theta that's just this product up here so now here's now that we have defined this maximum log likelihood function notice that we right now have a product and it's often easier to work with addition in uh, many of these problems and our goal is simply to maximize this likelihood function so it's actually an optimization problem where we're maximizing this function for theta so we want to figure out what is the most likely mean and what is the most likely variance within our sample and if we're going to simply max this likelihood function it doesn't matter if we maximize the likelihood or the log likelihood because the log function is monotone function and maximizing the likelihood is to get theta is the same as maximizing the log of the likelihood to get theta so let's go ahead and take the log of both sides so i'll write natural log here here and here and if you take the natural log of all these this gives you the log likelihood which is actually the summation of the natural logs of f of xi given theta and this is again from i equal one to n and this here now defines the log likelihood and if we want to then go ahead and define the estimator of the likelihood we typically define it as the estimator being dividing by the sample size so 1 over n times the natural log of the likelihood function and this is the estimation of the expected value of the log likelihood of a single observation in the model and why we divide it by n so we can write the estimator theta mle here is maximum log like estimator as the argument that mac argument theta 
which is an element of all the parameters here, that maximize this log likelihood function, which is theta given x1 through xn. Okay, so now that you understand how maximum log likelihood works, um, I will end so here. And you will find many examples of this, and depending on the particular problem, you will have to uh, do different kinds of optimization problems to actually do the uh, finding of the maximum likelihood here. And mostly you will be working with ID random variables, but sometimes you will have cases where you have heterogeneity, which is where they're not identical. And sometimes you can have cases where they're not independent and it may work for under certain other assumptions for those cases. So, I'm not going to go into all the different ways of optimizing functions here, so I will stop here and maybe in another video I can do a simple example of how to do the maximum likelihood. But I hope you now understand when and how to use it. So, thank you very much. This was a video by myself, Aditya Mittal, from acmetutor.com.